Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today I'm going to be playing Cycle Storm again because I've been playing a lot of this deck and it's super awesome. And I would like to say that Storm is back on the menu. It's giving me that Storm feeling. I'm uh, actually doing pretty decently now, trying to figure out the ins and outs of the deck. Now I wanted to kind of showcase it one more time so you can see it played maybe a little bit better. <laughs> so anyway, if you're not familiar with this deck, basically what you're going to do is you're going to cycle your creatures. As you can see on the preview window, Dranus Stinger has cycling for one. We have 23 creatures that cycle for one mana. And then Stinger, when it's on the battlefield, it says whenever you cycle another card, Dranus Stinger deals one damage to each opponent. So let's say you had one Stinger on the battlefield, you had 22 other cards in your graveyard or in your hand or whatever, you get to cycle them all, deal 22 damage. Now we loop through our deck using... Uh, Songs of the Damned, and our Storm card, which is Reaping the Graves. Reaping the Graves is return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And Songs of the Damned says add one black mana for each creature card in your graveyard. So we're going to cycle, cycle, get our creatures into the graveyard, Songs of the Damned for a huge amount of mana, and then Reaping the Graves, target all the creatures in the graveyard, start cycling them as they go back to our hand, looking for more creatures, more Songs of the Damned, make huge minutes of mana again, and then uh, eventually draw through our entire deck, or most of the deck, put our Dran Stinger into play, and then uh, get a couple of Reaping the Graves in our hand and cycle our entire uh, giant pile of creatures a couple times to kill our opponent. It's wicked sweet. You can win as early as turn one, technically. And uh, you can even add one turn two, a bunch of turn threes, so we'll see how it goes. The main upgrade to this deck from previous lists is that uh, we're playing Deadly Dispute. This is from um, Boundaries Blurred, was the original person pushing Deadly Dispute. And he also uh, found the repository Scob. But uh, Deadly Dispute says, uh, sacrifice an artifact or creature, draw two cards, and create a treasure. It's like a, a staple in Popper right now because it's such a powerful spell. And what we're going to do is make our mana base mostly artifacts. That way, while we're comboing off, we have a one mana draw two, which is really sweet. What this also does is gives us eight, basically, Lotus Petal effects, making our ability to cast our blue spells very easy, since we're only trying to cast two of them. And we can even get back Deadly Dispute with the Repository Scob. Repository Scob is exploit, sacrifice a creature, and well, you exploit it, and then you get a instant or sorcery from your graveyard in your hand. Generally, you're going to be exploiting itself, so it goes to the graveyard, so you get songs back, and then you can reap in the scob back and keep going all right that's a lot but anyway the deck right now we're i'm going to be playing 23 cyclers one teachings one scob four dispute our full eight cards here for the uh combo package and then four pedal and seven rituals uh brian and i were talking about cabal ritual whether or not this is should be the four of so maybe Maybe this is a good time to test it, I'm not sure, but Cabal Ritual, while you're going off, gives you a lot more mana than Dark Ritual does. So let's just let's just do a little bit of silly testing here. So when you're going off, you can cast a Cabal Ritual, gain 5 mana, so it's plus 1 on the cycling, basically, and it's really sweet. It doesn't really help you start doing things, though. Oh, one thing I also uh, didn't mention was... We are able to cut Blood Celebrant from the main deck. And over here in the sideboard, we're playing the Blood Celebrant. Um, this is specifically for bringing in against Weather the Storm decks. Uh, this is almost entirely Brian Cook's setup. And he does have a Patreon and YouTube channel where you can check out the sideboard guide. Um, I actually joined that as part of trying to learn the deck because I think it's powerful enough to uh, really be strong in this format. So definitely check that out. I'll, I'll link it below. And uh, Blood Celebrant can help cast our other sideboard card, Weather the Storm. And then we have four Pyroblasts for red decks and four Ingot Chewers for Relics and Nile Spell Bombs. The main graveyard hate in the format. One Flaring Pain for Prismatic Strands. Just makes your life easier. You can beat Prismatic Strands without Flaring Pain, but it, you know, why, why just make your life hard? Just make it easy. We've also got two Fairy Macabre here in case of some graveyard-based combo decks. 
And that's pretty much the deck. If you have questions, hit me up. I'll also link the um, Popper Storm Discord where you can check out um, what I'm doing and maybe uh, we can try to work on it together. Whew, that was a lot. It was a complicated deck, but hopefully the matches go better than that. Uh, feel free to hit up my own Patreon at patreon.com slash Guys. I've got sideboard guides for Alter, Poison Storm, and Familiars. And uh, hit me up with a like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about my, my play, if I messed up at all. We'll see you there. Uh, see you in the video. We're here in round one versus Nahu Eels. I'm going to keep... We don't have songs or reaping, but I have mana and cyclers. I feel that they're probably on burn, so we're just going to try to go for it. Blue, so mono blue fairies, I think. Yeah. That's a hard deck to beat. I think I have to play out the black land and pass. And then we have to go for, like, set up a way to kind of punk them out. And hope that they have a slow hand. Hopefully post board are our last gonna work. But the last time I faced Mono Blue, they were also playing Relic, which is kind of a donk. They hacker us. There's the 18. One thing I can do is just slam the stinger here. <clears throat> and start pressuring. They don't have a second land. So if they just play a creature and no land, I can attack. You could also try to get the horror into play, but they have snaps. Swings out. We'll take two again. So we're going to go to eight, 16. Hmm. Additionally, we could Lotus Petal out our Draineth Healer and then start cycling. So they can't kill us. Fairies is relatively weak to lots of cycle, lots of uh, life gain. Hmm. Probably going to have to put this Draineth Healer into play anyway at some point, but then I'm only going to have two two cyclers right now, so it's kind of a risk. I definitely can play this Great Furnace. So this is going to deal them two damage. I'll go back up to 18. I think I'm going to do it. Cycle. So we get to draw a card here. Just think of your creatures as cantrips, basically. And then you always yield to these triggers. Find a dark ritual. Let's just swing. I don't think I can afford to uh, play the Baron more, because I need now to draw a bunch of creatures. Now we're at even life total, 17 to 17. And most of our creatures will cycle uh, for mana produced by the Great Furnaces. They play a Fairy Miscreant. Gets to draw a card. They're attacking for three. Okay. So now they get to loot. They discard a Fairy Seer, so they must have a creature. Cycle, so go back up to 15. Okay, that was good. So now I can cycle this land. 16, we're pinging him. Vantasaur. We have three creatures in the graveyard now. Now we're just looking for a reaping. I don't really want to walk into a flashed in spell star sprite. So I'm going to not attack, I think. Although I could. Maybe next turn, what I want to do is if they leave up just sprite. Although they got mutagenic too. But never mind. Talking about just stuff, different stuff. Five in the graveyard. Now they have four mana available. We're back up to 17 though. So we're looking for a reaping. They get in for four. Once again, I will no block. Here comes a ninja. Okay, so it's a two mana ninja, which is both good and bad. <laughs> good in that they had to use two mana. Bad in that now they have way more card draw. So they get to, they, they incorrectly stack the Ninja the Deep Hours underneath the loot trigger. This trigger should have gone underneath the Ninja so they could draw extra. Hopefully that'll help us. Maybe they wanted to just discard something anyway. Discard the Brine Barrow Intruder. Maybe that was fine for them to just get rid of. 
technically they should have done it the other way for max value. So let's see if they have a land. They don't have a land, they have a miscreant. Oh, they just draw again. Another miscreant, okay. So this is our opening now. We have three creatures in the graveyard. What we could do is attack with both creatures and then deadly dispute the one that gets double blocked for most mana. And then the creatures will be in the graveyard. The thing that's concerning about that is whether or not we're going to have the mana to do the rest of our drawing. I think I'm just going to start on deadly dispute the Vault of Whispers. Uh, actually, the Red Land. Deadly dispute. So this gives us enough to play Cabal Rituals. Okay, now it's off. Well, maybe not. Let's attack with everything. We have so much mana that we can actually reap in the graves here and uh, not have to burn the song before they're going to take it. Okay. So we can teachings for another... Alright, so Dark Ritual... They're taking the four damage, which is kind of surprising. Wall ritual. Wall ritual again. I'm at 12, they're at 10. I could teachings for deadly dispute and deadly dispute the healer. It's probably the best play. Teachings. Maybe not. I think I'm going to do it. I need more cards. Deadly dispute, deadly dispute the healer. Now I have four in the graveyard, find another healer, play land, cycle the healer. Now I have five in the graveyard, they go to nine. So at a minimum we're going to be able to put them to four. Find another Cabal Ritual. So I can just jam that. I still don't have to play my Songs of the Damned. So I can eventually flash this other one back or something. Let's get our creatures back. I'm going to leave open the red mana in case I want to use it for a second stinger. So now I'm just getting all my creatures back. I'm going to leave that on the leave the uh, creatures in the graveyard. That's a second stinger. So we have one, two, wait, one, two, three, four. That's enough to kill them. Okay. Songs of the Damned, F6. Cast a stinger. Goodbye, goodbye, you are dead. Wee! So we took a uh, really strange line there in the beginning where we played out the stingers and the healer just to gain the life and uh, pressured them slowly and got there. Sick. That was cool. All right, so now I want all the pyroblasts. And then I believe... I mean, there's an option to bring in the ingot chewers because we'll have to check fairies lists. It seems like they are always going to be bringing in uh, relics too. So let's bring in the ingot chewers. Then we're going to slow down by cutting the teachings and the carbids. And then a cabal ritual, I think. We'll see if that works out. Now we only have 20 cyclers in the deck which means we're moving a little bit slower, but we have Pyroblast to slow them down. Oh man, that's close hand, but not good enough. Mulligan, yikes. So what does this do? We have one, two, three looks for a land. They're keeping seven. What's the odds that I get three a, a land in the top three? Let's find out. Okay, so we have a 65% chance of finding our first land. I'm going to keep it in bottom of deadly dispute. According to the hypergeometric calculator. <laughs> not great. This is not a this is a risky start for sure, but that's okay. They fairy seer. One of the things is that Street Wraith is just so powerful that it can actually just really pump out our spells. Um, being a, a free cycler is huge. They're going to go top, bottom off the Fairy Seer. Okay. I'm going to Reaping the Graves. We're going to cycle. We found the land. Never didn't have it. Okay, so pass the turn. Actually, 
I'm trying to turn off my auto yield, so let's see if it turns off. Play out this Lotus Petal and pass. So if they have a relic, we can maybe like crack the petal. If they have a, a big ninja here, we can go for Street Race Cycle Healer, look for a Pyroblast. Moon Circuit Hacker. Alright. We could do the same thing again where we play out the healer, turn two, and then just cycle from there. So likely just gonna cycle the Vantasaur here. They're leaving one nope, they're not leaving any mana open. Another reaping. So the street rates are a risk here because we're getting beat beaten down. Hmm. One, two. Cycle? Find a red land, okay. Vantasaur. Another great furnace. We have five, we have almost enough to go off. Not really though. Let's cycle this one. Cycle this one. Hmm. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five in the graveyard. Next turn, six. We're gonna hit for three and go to 11. If we actually start comboing, it won't be that hard to get the healer out to gain the life back. Of course. There's the relic. I'm just gonna go to the game to the next game. I guess I don't have to. It's frustrating though. <clears throat> you got it. Moon Circuit Hacker. That's the Lotus Petal. Guess I'm casting the healer. So if they spell Sutter Sprite right now. I have an opportunity to win. They're not going to do it. Okay. They didn't even tap their their relic. Weird. Cast an of one mind. We're going to get in for three. Okay. You got it. Gets me to eight. So I'm looking for a songs of the dam now. We have the double reaping. I think they're trying to leave open Spellsetter Sprite. They discarded Brine Bear Intruder. Best of one mind. They're looking for another land. Did not find a land. Hmm. We find a land. With the Great Furnace. I'll attack you. I guess what I can do here is. Try to deadly dispute the land, finding Ingot Chewer plus Songs of the Damned, and then I can Ingot Chewer and they have to respond by cracking it, and then I Songs of the Damned, and then reaping everything back. Deadly dispute the land. I think there's no other, no good point here. Cycle. We go to nine. And a dark ritual. Okay. We might also just be able to find enough mana to like really push through. There's another of one mine. We're gonna go to six. They find the land finally. I think I'm going to cycle the stinger. I'm not sure if that's the right play. They smack us. We go to six. <clears throat> This card's another land. So now their, their hand is just interactive spells. I'm going to cycle the stinger in response. Could find a pyroblast. Attempt a pyroblast. Now they could crack the relic here and I'd be pretty SOL. One, two, three, four, five, six. Spell pierce. Cast a lotus petal. Are they going to sprite me? Bell Pierce. Cast Dark Ritual. Cast Ball Ritual. Um, not going to pay. Now I'm going to cast a Reaping. So they have to crack the Relic. Let's see if they crack it with this on the stack. So we get a free value here by their exile and all the cards right now. So we're going to shoot, reaping again, 
It's uh, unlikely that we win here, but if we find a Songs of the Damned in the top two cards, we're going to go Street Wraith, Street Wraith, this one, this one, this one. Actually, I don't know. Get everything back. Relic resolves. Oh, I, I yielded to it. I screwed up. Cycle, cycle. Cycle. All right. I guess I'm not dead. I feel very dead, but I'm not totally dead. We can pyroblast that and pass the turn. So I should have been able to cycle a street wraith one more time. Whoops. We almost beat the relic. You'll do this turn. <clears throat> now immunogenic kills us. Okay, they had it. Fairies. They should call it unfairies. Wahahaha. Okay, put this into. I feel like I want more stuff to do. Hmm. I'm actually going to trim the rituals and bring back the carabid. So my reasoning here is that I've got the songs and the cabal rituals and then I want more cyclers to get in to find my ingachewer. Let's bring in another carabid. Three pyros, two chewers. More cantrips to find our stuff. Maybe that'll work out. It's uh. It's just weird that fairies is bringing in relics. I don't really understand. I guess because of terror, but can't they just counter them out? Maybe making terror freeze better. I think people are just always bringing in relic because it just seems like such a free card. I think it's probably maybe we should just actually like cut this, go three and three, because we are going to be able to play through their counter spells. They're on a low land count deck. We would like to play first. So we have Pyroblast and Songs of the Damned, no action. But we can kill their fairy. I'm going to keep... This is a, a, an incredibly risky hand, but we have land drops. And we can kill their turn one fairy. So no turn two ninja for you. Sometimes that completely shuts them down. So let's see if that's going to be enough to win the game. <laughs> Land. Oh, let's just play a Dranus Stinger out. Start attacking. <laughs> they might have a uh, Hydro Blast, though, so this is a super duper risky play. Relic. Land, Fairy, Relic. Land, attack you? So right now we can almost play the Street Wraith out, but not yet. They can Relic away the Pyroblast. They don't seem to know that they can tap the Relic. They'll figure it out at some point. We can cycle the Baron more, or play it out and try to get to the Street Wraith. I think I'm going to cycle it. Alright, let's attack. Okay, you're at 15. This would be really hilarious if they just they just die to the stinger in play and they don't have a ninja. <laughs> okay, cycle. I should just get to the point where I start casting five my five drops. There's the ingot chewer. Attack. Flashes in a spell setter sprite. Okay. They're gonna block and mutagenic. I'm going to cycle this Street Wraith. The Choo Choo 11. Maybe I can find a Cycler to find a uh, Fire Blast. Now you're at 10. Huh. Okay. So they're likely going to Ninja the next turn. And then... I think I have to pass, unfortunately. There's three in the graveyard with Songs of the Dang, Sam, blah, 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 Songs of the Damned and our breathing. We have the Chewer in play, or in our hand. So they're going to attack and ninja, putting us to 16. We'll see what kind of ninja it is. We can also just jam our Inga Chewer, which can block that ninja. 
Okay. Step one is to attempt to ingot you or the relic. So they have to have a Hydra Blast or a Counterspell. If they have a Counterspell, I think we can win. Or at least really go off here. Not go off, not win. One, two, three, four. We can attempt to win. They're going to Relic right now. So let's cycle the Street Wraith. Maybe I should attempt to Songs first. Got Songs of the Damned. See what they do. They're going to Spell Setter. Alright, so now I can cycle the Street Wraith. That's the Songs. Cycle. That's the Cabal Ritual. <clears throat> Now the question is, do I just, hmm, I'm going to Reaping right now. We don't have any way to recycle them anyway, so let's get back our creatures. Boom. If we find, oh, they, they can also, this Evoked Ingature is going to eat my land, which might matter. If we find a Deadly Dispute into a Pyroblast, we can get rid of the Spell Setter Sprite. So we're going to get back the Street Wraiths and then the Horror Carabid. Cycle them. Cycle. Another chewer. Cycle again. There's a pyre last. Now we find, need to find a deadly dispute. Cycle. Nope. Cycle again. So I'm pretty much all in on trying to make this deadly dispute work. Stinger's still there. We have one. Two, three. Did I play a land this turn? Well, anyway, I need to get my creatures back out of the graveyard, so what are you going to do? Songs of the Damned. Draw a card. Get that stinger. Cycle it. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, there's the deadly dispute. <laughs> uh, dispute. Red. Counter this. The songs is going to resolve. Reaping the graves, all my stuff. One, two, three. Graveyard is exiled. Let's see if you have a land drop. Goodbye to my land. So I can play the stinger right now and try to win, but I think that's an unlikely scenario. Or I could play my horror of the broken lands. They'd have to have a snap. We killed their Spellsetter Sprite. Let's play our big old creature. Your turn. Get rid of an Ingature. Interesting. Okay, block. And now it's a 4-4, but our thing's a 5-some-odd. Cycle. 6-5. 4-4 a 6-5. This has been a really crazy match. Okay, your ninja's dead. Now I have a giant attacker. Moon Circuit Hacker, so they have to chump. I'm gonna attack. I should have played a land first. Swing. If they don't block, they're dead. Because I can cycle two times and I have Pyro Blast up. What a sweet match. Okay, you are dead. Cycle. Cycle again. Yes! <laughs> that was sick! Okay. Woo! Now we're versus Bandus. I think they're a Fairies player too. We have lots of Cyclers. And we're on the play. I'll keep it. You know, that was. That round one was so cool. Alright. Land, pass the turn. I like to yield until next end step, but. Okay, they're on mono red. We have a healer. We can beat Mono Red in game one a lot of the time because we're really fast. Well, they're an Epicure is not the fastest start for them. Cycle this. I'm looking for a black land now. So let's play out the Baron more. Pass the turn. <clears throat> you can consider keeping the healer in hand for a little bit. They synthesizer into a Reckless Impulse, which is a great hit for me. Not a land and uh, not a castable spell. <clears throat> Find a songs. You can cycle. I wonder if I should deadly. No, I don't think so. Let's cycle this. 
cycle this one. So I could could have considered going dark ritual cycle cycle cycle. Play land has to turn red four in graveyard. So three more cards for the cabal ritual to be online. They're going to discard a random land. <clears throat> Plays a chromatic star. I think it will be better to cycle the healer right now. Because we're not threatening to be dead. And if we can find our combo, we can win. Ritual. Cycle this. They could have a fire blast. Cycle this one. Another healer. Let's make a cabal ritual. Cycle the healer. So now our songs of the dam is making eight mana. Bantasaur. Ritual. Let's cycle this Baron more. Start cycling some street race, I guess. I guess I should. Another healer. We can deadly dispute and cast a healer. Let's cycle the stinger first. Double deadly dispute. We should just try to get there. We're digging hard. Triple deadly dispute. Okay, so start step one is to dispute this land. And then we find the reaping now. So now we can go Songs of the Damned, Teaching Sir Reaping. Or we can Deadly Dispute first. Okay, cycle. Better to just draw more cards blind than to uh Try to start teachings, I think. Deadly Dispute again. Now we have three colored sources. We have a Repository Scob. We can cast a Stinger now. I think I'm just going to cycle. Play a Petal. 16 creatures in the graveyard. So we can... Blue, Scob... Well, they could have a Bolt. I guess it's fine. Scob... Get back songs, cast the songs, teachings, that gets us the reaping, and then we go, we have so much mana, let's cast another songs. So we know we want to, I guess we're going to cast the songs, reaping the greatest, we have so much mana, and then F6, get back. Street Wraith, Street Wraith, Stinger, Healer, and then go from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And another creature. All right, everything comes back. We're going to go cast this one. So let's count how many uh, things we've used. We've used one pedal, and then one, two, Three deadly disputes. So we have four colored sources left. Let's go for healer and our other stinger. And then it should be easy mode. Got them. Turn four. They just didn't have a good fast start. They appear to be on a Koldotha type build. So now we get to test the weather of the storm plan. Three weather of the storms, four ingotures. So, I was talking with Bryant, and his general plan is to cut the street rates post ward because of the life loss. So, we're going to try that and cutting the teachings in one cabal ritual. So, our plan is to buy some time with the weather, chewer them, and then go off. We only have 19 cyclers now. Maybe 19 is not enough cyclers. Let's just stay with 20. And cutting another Cabal Ritual. Submit. Although Cabal Ritual has been pretty sick. <coughs> so we have a Chewer. I guess I'm keeping. We have our Singleton Street Wraith. Nice. Land Swiss Beer Go. Yikes. <coughs> Land Pass? <laughs> They're going to crack their land. They're going aggro, hyper aggro. Okay, pass the turn. They just want to get out ahead. 
Why is a gorilla shaman? That's kind of annoying. Michael? Michael? I don't really want to play my land just yet. Because they're going to eat it. I'm going to discard one chewer. Now the next turn I can play the land. Then they go for it with the gorilla shaman. And I can deadly dispute my land. Hopefully they only have the one land. Okay, they're on one land still. Gets in for five. Land. Pass the turn. We have three creatures in the graveyard. They get in for five. Okay, puts us to four. Should have chain lightning the four attacks, that would have been lethal. No. Mighty Molt. Okay, so we're gonna go Dark Ritual. Cycle this. Comes with end. Deadly disputes. Red doesn't matter here. This and then Cabal Ritual. Cycle. 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 Well, I'm looking for my Weather the Storm here. Now I can Reaping. I guess I have to... I'm dead if I don't go for this, so I have to Songs of the Damned. Reaping the Graves. I will get back all the stuff and put the uh, Street Wraith on the bottom. Cycle this. Cycle. Come on, Weather the Storm. Cycle in my stuff. Another reaping doesn't help. We got one look. Nope, we got more looks now. Okay. Nope, can't cycle that one. We can cycle our stinger though. Our horror. Cycle that. Songs of the Damned. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, one, two. Okay, I guess we Songs of the Damned again. Reaping the Graves. We're going to gain a lot of life. Jeez. Get my stuff back. I hope we can find our uh, weather storm. One, two, three, four, five. Cycle this. Cycle. Okay, we found the weather storm. So we can now just cycle one more time. And go. Gain a lot of life. Just that was cool. <laughs> They're calling me names in Italian, it seems. Okay, yield through this turn. What's going on? Are they conceding? What's happening? Okay, we got a lot of life. So now, how do we win? Lay out the stinger. I don't know what. They said you are a proper butt, I think. Let's cycle this. I don't think I want to play the Lotus Petal right now. That's the turn. I'm going to discard the Chewers. If they have Relic here, we're dead. They can Gorilla Shaman my land. They're just going to Reckless Impulse. Find a Mountain and a Chain Lightning. Are they going to go face or kill the Stinger? They go for the Killing the Stinger plan. We would not like to pay. We'll play another Stinger. Oh, he said, I'm a donkey. That's funny. <laughs> uh, okay. Cycle the horror. I have to find a lot of stuff. I have one more songs left in the deck, and that's it. That's the turn. It seems very unlikely that we'll get there. That was pretty funny, though. I guess we should have tried to go for it before on our turn. Because we spewed all of our resources just to try to get to this position. Okay, they have one card in hand. They kill my land. Kill my other land. Play the relic. Okay. Cracks the relic. Okay, block the gorilla shaman. Play another stinger. I mean, it's not over, but it's pretty over. Attack. You're at 16. Now if they just whiff on burn spells for a little while, we can deal them with much damage. Find another Swift Spear. They're going to play that out. If they attack with everything, I'm blocking the Swifty. No attacks. Cycle. 
You take four or two. That's the turn. There is a world where we win. I kill my creature. Now it's less likely. Wing for a million. They block a creature. There's, they're just playing hate, hate, hate. Hate cards. Let go of the Vantasaur. Four in the graveyard. Lay the Baron more. That's the turn. So if they go land, land, we'll be okay? Nope. Okay, fine. You got it. So, I kind of think that with the weather of the storms, we want to bring the street race in over the Caribids and try to just go off early. The other question is whether or not we want the Cabal Ritual. It's pretty strong. Okay, let's play first. Uh, we have the Ingot Chewer. Let's keep. Play the Baron more and pass the turn. We have a Weather the Storm as well. We're just going to bring in all their nonsense. I think it's funny that they have, with the probably bring like three Gorilla Shamans and three of everything else. Just four relics, three Gorilla Shamans just beating us down. Play this. Pass the turn. We can leave up a Deadly Dispute on the Furnace if they are going to play a Gorilla Shaman. <sighs> Boring. Get in. Get goal. Another Deadly Dispute. Nickel again. Get my land. It's the turn. They're going to continue to use all their mana to blow up my stuff. Is that okay? Then they dispute again. We're going to cycle the Vantasaur. And they pass the turn. We can now play Baron Moor. Pass the turn. I shouldn't have done that. Crud. Should I get rid of this Vault of Whispers? I guess so. Kills my land, or my uh, pedal. Then they play a Monastery Swift Spear, so I'm just going to respond with a Weather of the Storm. Gain some life. One, two, three, four. Play some Epicure. Probably shouldn't have responded until the end of their main phase. Could have gotten even more uh, life gain out of that. Find a Reap in the Graves. But we could die. It's Cabal Ritual. Cycle. Cycle. Find the songs, cycle, another cabal ritual, play lotus petal, songs of the damned, reap in the graves, attempt to win. <clears throat> Stinger first. Get back my free spells, and then the other spells. Okay, cycle. Don't want to cast deadly dispute yet. Cycle this one. Looking for another songs. The pedal, cycle again. Another land. We can cycle again. We know they're gonna just go after my uh, land here. If I agree, if I just, hmm, I think I just have to weather the storm right now. This is 18 life. Pass the turn. We cast a draw too. Finds a synthesizer and a land. We play the synthesizer. Finds a land and a bolt. Okay. Just bolting us. Alright. So, cycle this one. So, I'm going to play my vault. I'm going to make them use the mana on it. Definitely dispute the vault. Play a Ren's Resolve. I guess we could be dead here. We're at 15. Right now we're taking 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. Now Galvanic Blast represents. Oh no, they can't. They don't have three artifacts. They Reckless Impulse again. So now we're 6, 7, 8. They find a Relic. Nothing. So we're dead next turn. Okay. Fair enough. Um. 
I think I deadly just let's see, do I deadly dispute now or during my turn? Let's see. One I'll have the same amount of mana up next turn if I dispute now. Cycle. Cycle again. Find a reap in the graves. So we have to go somehow like how many street rates do you have? Two? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, we'll just get the healer and the street race. Seems very unlikely that we'll get there. That's okay though. Another street race, another street race. So we need Songs of the Damned right off the top. Wow, we got it. Okay, cast Songs of the Damned, 13 creatures. Cycle this one. Can we do it? Cycle. And I wasn't paying that much attention to the street rates, but they were wrecking me. <laughs> Deadly Dispute, this, we did not get there because of the Street Wraith, we can't cycle it. Alright, GG. Well, it was pretty fun. Draw some cards. We're far away. Alright, let's go to the next. We're here in round 3 versus Lokar, I don't know what they're on. We've got some lands and cyclers. They're on probably Jeskai Ephemerate, or could be Boros. Play out my black land to pass the turn. Looks like Jeskai Ephemerate to me. Yep. Pass the turn. So we may want to just play out lands, like put another Baron more into play. Because more lands is going to be better versus a control deck. They're going to go for Drifter Ephemerate. We can cycle a couple of times. The Ephemerate resolves. They go to seven cards in hand. Well, good for you. Cycle. Draw some cards. Kind of teachings. Cycle the Vantasaur. Really dispute. Pass the turn. We're getting to the point where if they tap out, they might die. Cabal Ritual represents a large amount of mana. Right now we only have five in the graveyard after cycling. And then we also could put two more in the graveyard with the Deadly Dispute. They cast a Thraben Inspector. Okay. Go Yield until next end step. They're holding up three blue mana. Casting a Preordain, so leaving up just Counterspell right now. They're, they're considering cracking their clue. They have eight cards in hand right now. Cycle and do it again. Now we have five. This is six in the graveyard. Find a horror. Okay. So now Cabal Ritual makes five mana. I'm going to cycle the horror and see what I see. Dark Ritual. This is a pretty decent opportunity to win. Um. We can Deadly Dispute a bunch of times right here. Let's see if Dark Ritual will resolve. Wall Ritual. Resolves. Deadly Dispute. I mean, we don't have to try to win here, but I think it makes sense. Counterspell. Deadly Dispute again. Find the songs. So we can cycle the healer. Wall Ritual again. Then we can songs into teachings. That makes our deadly disputes not viable anymore. Got to deadly dispute the treasure token. Wall ritual again. Deadly dispute the treasure token again. Drawing a bunch of cards. Cycle. Dark ritual. Songs of the damned. Blue. Teachings for Reaping. We could also Teachings for Songs, and then Songs, and then Teachings for Reaping. But I don't know if that's necessary. Looks like we have no more Rituals left in the deck. Oh no, Cabal Ritual, Dark Ritual. Let's see what happens. Get our creatures back. We have, okay, get the Street Wraith. One two oops i missed that other street wraith get that one back in there three four five 
Okay. So we got to cycle the street race first, try to look for another songs. We have eight, nine draws to find a songs or a, our cabal ritual. They're just going to scoop it up. Ha! They didn't even know. They thought we had it. We find a reaping. Okay, we would have had it. Fair enough. <laughs> so we know they're going to bring in the relic and they're going to bring in their, their pyroblast deck. I mean, not a pyroblast, but a blue deck. So cut these ones. One ritual. Herbid. I think it's fine to just have like a light pyroblast response. I don't know. Man, I'm all over the place. That was pretty sweet, though. You can see the power of Deadly Dispute there. We drew tons of cards, and then we just got it. So cool. All right, show me a relic. Please don't show me a relic. relic. <laughs> uh, it's so funny because it doesn't make any sense really at all for Jess Guy to bring in relic, but they're bringing it in anyway. The reason being that I guess it's stronger to have Relic than it is to ruin your own graveyard and maybe you can play around it. I don't know. I don't know. Just doesn't make sense to me. Land go. Our mana base is problematic. So let's play the land and pass the turn. We tap land first. Just need to make land drops. We have a Pyroblast. Let's see if they wildfire my land. They wildfire their land. Okay. We pass. We get another blue source. If they go for... Okay. Nah. I was thinking about playing the Stinger out, but I don't think that's necessary at this point. Because they could just have a Bolt. They like to keep in Bolts. We're going to cycle the Carabid and the Vantasaur. Just looking for another land. Okay. Draw. Cycle the Wraith. And cycle Vantasaur. Cycle another Wraith. I really hope we don't get Relic right now. Probably should have Dark Ritualed. There we go. That's the turn. Okay, uh, we could potentially go for the win next turn. Let's see what they're up to. If they go Evoke Drifter, we can... We're going to Dawnbringer Cleric. All right. No skin off my teeth. So the best card for them to get rid of here would be a Street Wraith, and they do recognize that and get rid of a Street Wraith. Okay. We have Songs of the Damned in hand. Right now it makes five mana. We have four extra draws. Five, six extra draws. So let's... I think I want to try to go for it. They have to try to counterspell my Songs of the Damned. Cast a Dark Ritual. They're going for the counter spell. Touche. Let's counter your counter. Can we do it? Okay. So, cycle. Wall ritual. Cycle this one. No sense playing the stinger out right now because we need to find a reaping. There it is. Petal. Deadly dispute. Our land. At this. Cycle, so I guess I can just use the red mana. I need to get maximum, maximum, maximum. Okay, deadly, dis oh, almost deadly disputed. We need to, I guess we can cycle one more time. I was thinking about just playing out the stinger right now for storm count. I think that's probably fine. Cast songs of the damned, red, cast a stinger. We have 11 in the graveyard, so let's Deadly Dispute this one. Wall Ritual. Is this enough to win? We have another Stinger in the graveyard. I think it is. No, wait. How many, how many Street Rates do we have? One, two. We should be able to do it. Let's go get everything back. We have Triple Stinger, actually. So I would need to, to do seven. All right, let's look at this. Right now I have 8 mana, I would go to 6, 6 mana floating, and then I have, okay, this is the win, just pass the turn, get back Street Wraith, Street Wraith, Stinger, and then the rest of them, 1, 
to all right control deck we got him cast this one and cast this one and uh now you will be dead though Ga -da 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 -da. so sick we find a songs of the damned anyway sweet just uh really overpowering our opponent here Cabal ritual cycle uh, <clears throat> i mean the thing is when you're playing against this deck it's pretty hard to find your your moment to go off and what we did there was we pretended that that was our only black source so they kind of had to go for it and we win the game all right so we're here in match four versus ehdm who likes to play tribe combo and right now we can't keep this hand um this is kind of interesting because we can go pedal ritual cycle 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 i'm gonna keep wall ritual to the bottom we need to be fast versus tribe so i think it's fine going for this risky play and we also have songs of the damned imagine if we turn one they go ponder and choose not to shuffle minus songs land dark ritual or not land cycle cycle again cycle this one dark ritual cycle this one cycle this one land so if we find a reaping here we could do something i'm just going to cycle <laughs> should i try to go for it <laughs> <laughs> we could go songs of the dam for six and then deadly dispute <laughs> he goes what okay we have one two three four five six i think i can i think i'm gonna go for songs of the damned deadly dispute wall ritual that doesn't do anything now we can scob back the songs and bide our time. We got 15 cards deep on turn one. Shouldn't have gone for it, but I did. <laughs> I played Lucy Goosey because I know they're going to kill me on this next turn. All right. Um, how can we win? I don't think we can win here. Pass the turn. We'll have to evaluate after they kill us on this turn whether or not we could have gotten there. Pass. We're dead. Whatever. I knew it was necessary to go for the. Yeah, we wouldn't have gotten there. Where's the reaping? Look for it. No. Keep going. No. <laughs> Whoa. Reaping was 26 from the bottom. All right. <sighs> I think I want to bring in the Pyroblasts and cut. We have things like, I think I'm going to cut the Scob, cut, Carabid, Ritual, Carabid. Tribe combo. I beat them the last time I faced them, but not this time. So we have a Pyroblast. I guess I'm keeping. Land pass. It's not great to just have zero cyclers in hand, but I have a deadly dispute. Okay, pass the turn. Land, pass the turn again. They brainstorm. I just really rely on deadly dispute probably too much as a draw to. Cycles of Lorien revealed. At what point are you actually getting to the point where you're actually playing these Lorien's though? Okay. I guess I'm gonna pass. You have it. it. Put me to 19. They do not currently have it. Let's cycle a horror. Find another reaping. Oh, gee, Willikers. It's dark ritual. Let's cycle the horror. I think I'm gonna pass again. 
We could, like, deadly dispute the land, but I think it's probably not wise. That's the turn. Ponder? I wonder if I have to get rid of my third reaping. I don't really like that option. I'm representing Pyroblast hard, so all they have to do is find a counterspell. Where, oh, where are my land, land, lands? Find a petal. Okay. That's the turn. Here. So they played inside out, we try for a counter spell. <sighs> okay. They're gonna circular logic my pyroblast. I'm going to Songs of the Dam. And then I'm going to Deadly Dispute. Go for Cabal Ritual. I guess it doesn't matter, right? They can discard their entire hand for the circular logic, it doesn't matter. They have a dispel anyway. No. Too free for the bro. Alright, next round. I feel this is probably a bad matchup regardless. They have lots of counters, and they have lots of power. Let's go to match five. How do we feel about this hand? Chigli Manza. Okay. I'm keeping it. We only have one cycler. It's a very risky hand. People would say don't keep it. Looks like Jeskai again. So we've got time maybe? Play our land and pass the turn. Let's see if they go for the wildfire on my land. Shigui Manza. I don't know what Shigui is, but it sounds Italian to me, and I was going to say that they're probably playing Boros if they're Italian. <laughs> And they are playing Boros. So this is another deck where we can sometimes be good, sometimes bad. Let's cycle the Caribbean first. We need to find a land. I think it's probably better to play out the pedal than to just start discarding things. Maybe not. Well, you can tell me in the comments. Maybe uh, Bryant or Boundaries Blurred or Valena will know. Or Tayarui. People that are smart and have played Cycle for a long time. Plays a Synthesizer. So they're likely to play a 2-2 Flyer soon. Seeker the Way is annoying because it deals a lot of damage. Let's see if they have an untapped land. They do not. Okay. So we're going to cycle the Black Creature. Or black Cycler, I mean. You can play another Petal. Or Discard. I think I'm still just going to play another pedal. We're not pressured into going off yet. Just pass the turn. They play a Lembus. They get to scry one and draw a card. They go bottom. So they're looking for their third land still. So am I. I'm looking for my second land though. Cycle. Where, oh where is my landy land land? Um. Okay, we're going to pass. And I will discard Healer. Well, do I discard the Teachings? That's probably the card that matters the least right now. Since we have Scob, although, we have Scob to get back the songs. One, two, three in the graveyard. I'm trying to work up to the point where I can go Cabal, Cabal, Cycle, Cycle, do stuff. We're kind of just hanging out. Our opponent's going to play Core Skyfisher and pick up their Synthesizer, probably, for mana value. And let's see if they whiff on a land again. They do. Good news for the home team. Plays a Boros Garrison. Um, two, three. I mean, we're close to getting to the point where we could try to go for it. Four, five, six, cycle. I'm going to see what happens here. I'm going to play this Cabal Ritual for not very much value. Cycle. That's seven in the graveyard. Cycle. Well, Dark Ritual. Cycle this one. Find a second Reaping. And Cabal Ritual. Cycle Vantasaur. Okay. Find a land. Play the land. So now we can go Songs of the Damned. Repository Scob Songs of the Damned. Blue, Scob, get back the songs. Crack this guy, get back the songs. Okay, 
Let's see if it would be easier to see if I do it like this. No, it wouldn't. Okay, so let's go with Songs of the Damned. Get back a lot of creatures. I want the Scob back eventually. But do I want it back right now? I can only get back... I have to not get back one creature. Let's get back not the Scob right now. Go all my other things. We could also... Teachings for songs. That would be seven total mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. It might be worth it because we have the second reaping in hand. Deadly dispute, huh? Now I'm sad that I didn't get back to Scob. Okay, cycle. Another deadly dispute. We have nine mana. Now we have eight mana. Cycle. Seven mana. Songs is going to make nine. So it's only plus two mana. So I think we have to just keep cycling. Cycle. And there's the songs. Perfect. Now it's easy mode, I think. Cycle. We're going to look for um, another uh, stinger so we can play it out. Let's cycle this one. Another reaping. Wow. Two free, I guess. Cycle this one. Wow. <laughs> okay, Songs of the Damned. Let's just deadly dispute this land. Start cycling some more things. Try to make our songs huge. Just want to cycle as much as possible so our songs are doing the most work. Looking for as many creatures as possible in the graveyard. Cycle. Okay, now we've maxed out. Now what we can do is reaping everything back and then uh, cycle with everything on the stack so that we can get max value out of the songs. Get the street, street Wraith first and then everything else. Actually I'm going to put the stingers at the bottom. Oh I didn't even get the stingers back? Whoops. Okay, cycle this one. I just need more storm count I guess. We have 14 creatures in the graveyard and we just didn't have the storm to get everything back. All right, fair enough. Cycle. Another deadly dispute. Cycle this one. Okay. There's so much, so much value. I just like kind of forgot what I was doing. All right. So songs of the damned. Wall ritual. And cycle some more. So I'm trying to float red mana. There's a stinger. Let's keep that one. Cycle. We kind of have the nuts. I guess it's turn five, so we have lots of going on. Another stinger. Get that one. Cycle this. Then find a dark ritual. One of the hard parts about this deck is that you have to cycle from way over here. <laughs> and then when you actually click the mana, it's like on the left, so you're like clicking over here. Cycle this one. Click over here. All right. Did we get enough through the deck? All right, so now we're going to go Songs of the Damned. Scob comes back. Play this. Blue. Scob. Go ahead and get Songs again, because we can. Red. Cast a Stinger. And then cast a Stinger again. Then cast another Songs of the Damned. And then just a Reaping. Boom. I'm going to click Yield through this turn now. Let's get everything back. I misclicked. Missed this one. Okay, click, click, click. And now we clicked everything, so we spam click the bottom one. Get all of our stuff back. Now we only have to cycle 10 times. So right now I have yield through this turn on, so I don't have to click anything. Cycle. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven. We're paying attention to the size of our graveyard as well because if we deck ourselves, that'd be bad. We have to make sure we don't deck. And then two more cycling these horrors. They concede at the very last second. <laughs> uh, okay.
Let's see what else we had in the graveyard or the library. Four more cards. We would have drawn just cyclers, but one Lotus Petal would have given us the mana to cast the uh, Repository Scob for another Songs. So that was pretty much easy mode. Boros. Okay, so bring in the Chewers. We can cut the Teachings and Scob because we're taking our time here. And then I will cut one Dark Ritual. I'll just cut one random Cabal Ritual and one Carabid. Let's see. Obviously we wanted to be able to chew all their relics. We were just sitting on one land, all action, and then once we drew, we just went for it, we tap out. I felt like it was necessary to go for it there because they could have been holding red mana to interact with our Scob. And we don't really want to have uh, Teachings and Scob in the deck post-board because it turns on their Pyroblasts. So if they do bring in Pyroblast, we want to make that a dead card if we can. Alright, this is a fine hand. Not amazing. Got some deadly disputes. If they grill Shaman us, they mulligan to five looking for a relic. Okay. So we can just play lands out and then deadly dispute the land, try to get past the relic, or look for a chewer or whatever. Did you find your relic though? Play Winds Guard Crag and pass the turn. Alright, my turn. Land go. I probably should have led on the black land. Hmm. Since the black can cast every cycler, the red can only cast most of the cyclers. Alright, I guess I'm cycling a Vantasaur. My turn. Land. I can play a Lotus Petal. Because I can deadly dispute the Lotus Petal to draw cards, and that means I don't have to cycle my creatures. This depends on if they're playing a Relic or not. Because if they play the Relic, we can deadly dispute the Lotus Petal, put two cards into the graveyard, and get past the Relic that way. They're going to Glenhawk the Wellspring. Okay. They have another land. Plays the Wellspring. So let's cycle... Let's yield until the next end step to be kind. I always ask that people do that for me. Cycle and cycle. Draw a card. Cycle of Baron Moor. Play the Great Furnace. Pass the turn. Now the Baron Moor in the graveyard is Relic Fodder. They play a Swift Spear. Uh-oh. They're getting after it right now. Three cards in hand. So they're going to hit us for four, maybe? Depends if they have a bolt. Lightning bolt, so... All right. Let's us to... 13. They have two cards in hand. We are pretty far away from comboing just by not having the pieces. Draw a card. First, I'm going to deadly dispute this Lotus Petal. Find a chewer. I'm at 13 right now. Right now I can draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cards. Let's go Dark Ritual Cycle. Cycle this one. Cycle this one. Another Dark Ritual. I think I'm going to pass. I don't know if we're going to live, but I don't. I think we have an opportunity to say. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five in the graveyard. They get a wellspring. I think we have to try to win next turn. Okay, they play a land. Go to 22. This is going to put me to 9. Okay, we're at 9. This seems like the moment that we have to go for it. Lotus Petal. Cycle this. Cycle this one. Found the songs of the dam, so we can dark ritual. Deadly dispute the land. Find another songs. So let's play the first songs. Then start cycling some more and looking for uh, a reaping and more creatures. So every creature that we put into the graveyard is uh, net mana neutral with the songs here. 
there's the rebank. So in deadly dispute, the other land, another rebank. We can cycle here. Remember, we only we took out all of our. Hmm, we have one, two Drana Stingers. I'm trying to think about how we live or die here. Let's cycle this healer. So I need I need all my colored sources. We have one, two, three, four right now, and we've used one, two, three, four, five. So there's only three more colored sources left in the deck. They could have Bolt Bolt to put me to six. So healer might be necessary. We have 11 creatures in the graveyard. So we have to build up a storm count in order to actually get everything back. Let's cycle this healer right now. And a great furnace. That's pretty good. Tap this. We're going to go black. Deadly dispute the land. Well, I guess Songs of the Damned first. Deadly Dispute the Land, Floating the Red. Another Songs? Okay. Petal. So now I can cast Reaping the Graves, putting my Stingers and the Healer on the bottom. So I'm targeting the Stinger first, so it'll come back last. I'm going to get back Phantasaur, Healer. All these things. Vantasaur. And now this other healer here. And this other stinger. And then start drawing some cards. Cycle. Cycle. I don't want to cycle the land because it's not mana neutral with the songs. I'm trying to float my red mana still. Another reaping. Cycle this one. Another stinger, huh? So we'll have triple stinger. Okay, I think that's probably enough. Cycle this one. And then Dark Ritual's great. So we're cycling until we get to the healer. This one's targeting the healer. So we can cycle this Street Wraith. Hmm. No, we can't cycle the Street Wraith yet. Because they could have double Gal Blast. Cycle this one. And the Carabid. And now cast Songs of the Damned. Cast Cabal Ritual. Now it should be easy mode from here. Cycle this. Another Reaping. So get this stuff back. White. Red. Red. Cast a healer. Cast a stinger. Cast another stinger. They gal blast the stinger. So they did have the gal blast. Okay, one stinger down. Cast another stinger. Okay, so that was all they had. Cycle. And we want, because we want the Street Wraith in the graveyard, because it's free. And another Street Wraith is great. They seem to not have any more removal spells. So we just win the game. Because we can... Do we have enough? I think so. Reaping the Graves. Now we just get everything back. Lay out our other Stingers. And then kill them with Street Wraiths. 9 mana. 8, 7. And then we'll have 7 times 4. Which is 27? 28. Okay. Doot, doot, doot. I successfully clicked on all my creatures. I'm going to press F6 now. And then play a Stinger. So now we only have to cycle 6. Play another Stinger. There we go. 7 mana available. And we can deal them 9, nine cycles. And they scoop it up. Yeah! Woo! Okay, so if we go to the matches, match history... It's possible that I threw this match here because I could have recognized that they were going to kill me next turn. I should have just gone for it. I knew I had the weather in the deck if I fizzled. So maybe this could have been a 4-1. I feel like Tribe is kind of rough to play against. 
overall, this deck is super cool and fun, and uh, I enjoyed it. It really gives me the storm vibes, and uh, I thought I thought like storming needed like draw spells and stuff, and it seems that maybe deadly dispute has been a big upgrade. I like that you have the chewers and the pyroblast available. We had some really sweet games versus mono blue, and uh, got to just steamroll Jeskai and uh, Boros. That was sweet. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.